So let's have a look how these metrics are actually interconnected. Okay, so one important question we should ask ourselves is, are we, are our clients exercising at the most efficient training intensity in contrast to the goals, obviously, what they try to achieve? So there's one training intensity. The popular name for it might be zone two training. However, there's no definition, actually. There's been a scientific paper arguing or moaning about the fact that there's no scientific definition of what zone two means or how it's determined exactly, right? The better way to look at it is the most efficient training intensity, which actually Zone True was trying to approximate, so to speak, which is the intensity at which the body burns the most amount of fat, meaning the most amount of the calorie is derived from fat oxidation. So if you look at a graph like this, where you plot the intensity, the exercise intensity on the x-axis, so low intensity rest on the very left, high intensity on the very right. The fat combustion rate looks something like this. So it first increases with exercise intensity, fat combustion rate goes up, then it reaches a maximum, a plateau, an apex, and then it decreases to zero. So at some high intense, harder, higher exercise intensity, it decreases to zero, or almost zero to be precise. Carbohydrate combustion rate, on the other hand, shows this curve linear or exponential behavior where it's increasing slowly at the beginning and then rapidly to, to, to speak at higher intensities. So training at fat, at a high fat combustion rate, basically means there's an, a relatively speaking higher oxygen uptake. So fatty acid need additional oxygen to be prepared or be combusted, simplified speaking, prepared for the metabolism, be used in the metabolism. So at fat max, relatively speaking, the oxygen uptake is higher, which means there's a higher aerobic stimulus. There's a higher training stimulus on the aerobic system, right? Which therefore is another reason why training at fat max is one of the most important training intensity because it's the most efficient one to increase the automax. We're going to talk about there's other ways how to increase the automax, but one major important one is training at this fat max, okay? So already two reasons why you want to know this one here.